Today I have for you some must-see DIYs that you are going to love using all of this endless Dollar Tree glassware that you're going to find not only in the crafting aisles, but the kitchen section as well. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, make sure you are subscribed, and let's go ahead and get on into crafting. I know these are a unique find at the Dollar Tree. I've only found them one time and it's been a few weeks back, but I thought these green jars were gorgeous. You can use the same idea if you don't have these exact green jars. Just put some rope around any of the style of jars that you like at Dollar Tree. But I'm going to be pairing these with some solar lights. And you can see that they don't fit the top of these jars perfect. So I wanted to share with you a fun hack. All you have to do is grab some beads. These did come from Dollar Tree back in the fall. But you can find beads at Hobby Lobby and different craft stores. But all you have to do is glue the beads around the top and this is going to create like a little lip that it's going to set right on top of these jars fit perfectly and then you can display these outside after I made sure that the the beads did fit I did secure them with some extra hot glue but these look so gorgeous out on a patio but also like light up and look really cozy at nighttime So if you don't have any small wooden beads like this, you can also use the nautical rope. This is another hack. If you pick up one of these large style vases from the Dollar Tree that have like the wider mouth at the top, you can use the nautical rope to glue it around the top of a solar light. This is just a solar light from Dollar Tree. I just pulled the stake off of the bottom and then I wanted to dress up this kind of like a little terrarium or something. So I put some white rocks in there as well as some like colorful floral. I think it's always fun adding those pops of color outside. I kind of played around with it until all of the flowers were showing up really pretty and then just glued the light down on top and this is really going to make it light up and look really pretty outside as well. I love that Dollar Tree sells their own chalkboard paint, so this is so cool and it, it works pretty well. I like to use their little chalk pens on it, so I'm not like risking scratching anything like using real chalk, but all I did was pick up a white plate from the kitchenware section. I used the little groove as a guide to paint the middle with this chalkboard paint. So you could draw this with a pencil to make sure you're getting it perfect, but I didn't worry about that. I just tried to get it like in the groove as close as possible. I let this completely dry and then I'm using some of these fun Crafter Square rub on transfers that have a ton of these words and usually when I'm DIYing I cut the little words apart, but I thought it would be so fun to fill up the entire edge of the plate with all of these fun like fonts. So I just started cutting these apart and fitting them in. Sometimes I do have to cut down like one word to fit it in and make it kind of look seamless, but just play it around with this and use a scraper to transfer it on the plate. But I feel like it looks so cool with the chalkboard in the middle and then you can personalize this any way that you would like. I didn't get every word on there like 100% perfect and I did have to kind of squeeze in some letters and words to make it blend in but I, th I thought this looked so cute and would be so fun to personalize to make the perfect gift idea. For another glassware hack I'm using two of these honeycomb photo frames. Now I am just using one of the frames but I'm stealing the glass out of the second frame so just using the glass on this one and I'm going to create like a pressed flower like little jewelry holder so this turned out super super cute all I did was pull the two pieces of glass out kind of played around with some pressed flowers that I picked up from Hobby Lobby I try to grab these when they are on sale so look for whenever the paper studio has um, their items like 40 or 50 percent off and these are very inexpensive I actually try to make them go really far and just use a few on each project but kind of tack them down with some Elmer's glue. I put the other piece of glass on top of these and then put it back in the frame. Now I was scared that the hardware in the back of the frame was going to crack the glass so I did end up just pulling it out and then tacking this down with some hot glue but this looks so adorable displayed with any type of jewelry or makeup but a really fun piece that you can put out on like your nightstand or even your dresser. You 
So using this same idea but on a bigger scale, I stole the glass out of two of these prints that I had bought at Dollar Tree. Now I love these prints so I'm just going to put that to the side and use these on a later project. But using the glass because it's so much bigger than those small frames, I wanted to frame it with some real wood. So taking these long flat pieces that's in the crafter square, I just kind of played around with them, laid them out. You want it to overlap the glass so you have something to adhere the uh, wood to. So I just cut it down and then putting it back and taking my pencil and marking where I needed to cut. So I wasn't really obsessed with measurements or anything, just kind of playing around with it until I thought it was going to fit. Painted all of these white and then put my flowers in between the glass so that then I could add the frame. Talking in riddles, just let it go. To make sure that the glass wasn't going to slide around, I just put some hot glue in the corners, tacked these two pieces together, and then started adding in the frame. I put the glue on one side so that it would grip onto the glass. Now this isn't going to be a permanent hold for itself, but I did flip it over, add a ton of hot glue on the back, and then using some of Dollar Tree's like rolls of felt, I put that over the glass just to make sure it isn't going to like scrape any of my white tables or anything and I'll be able to kind of slide it around without damaging any furniture. I love the black dinnerware sets that Dollar Tree puts out. You can make some super easy DIYs with this. All I did was add some E6000 and hot glue on the bottom of a bowl and put the plate right on top. This was stupid simple, but I think it is gorgeous. It looks so pretty in a dining area. I would love it so much, but I just kind of styled it with some plants I had, but I think it looks really good. If your Dollar Tree doesn't have a lot of the black pieces out right now, you can grab any type of glass container and any color plate. I just put these two together and then spray painted them with black matte finish spray paint. Styled it with some beads, but looks just as good. Another way to upgrade any candle holder or vase from Dollar Tree is to pick up one of these wooden circles. Now Dollar Tree does sell these, but they are hard to find. I feel like they must go like really, really fast or they don't get a lot of them, but they have them at Hobby Lobby and you actually get a better deal there. So I... I glued that to the bottom of this candle holder and then wrapped the top with some paper. So whenever I spray painted this, it wasn't going to paint the top. So this looks really good and paint dipped. I added a candle in there, but I feel like you're getting the same high end look and I love adding that pop of black throughout my home. I styled the last DIY you just saw with two of these planners from Walmart. These were on clearance for five bucks. Now these were originally $14 or $15, no thank you. I feel like that is really pricey for what they were. But if you were to just go pick up the succulents, the rocks and the container, you're going to spend the $5 that they were marked down to. So I love these, but I still wanted it to match a lot of my natural tones throughout my home. So I did take some of this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree and just put it that's how easy this was just put it around the middle and I feel like these look so much better and I love the texture it adds
Okay, so this even feels silly to mention. It's so easy, but I love this. Grab some of this disappearing purple spray adhesive from the Dollar Tree. Take any glass container and kind of spritz it on there very lightly. So you don't want a lot of runs. It's easy to get runs if you overspray or spray like the second coat too fast. But do this a couple of times, letting it completely dry in between. And it adds like such a fun texture to these glass containers. You'll definitely have to try it out for yourself but I just love how it gives it a different look and everything's just not like crystal clear. It also hides like smudges whenever you are trying to decorate with these. I love picking up these glass frames that already have the writing on there because they're so easy to transform. All I did was take a scraper. If you do struggle with a scraper, you can pick up one of these razor blades from Dollar Tree. I love this so much more. It just peels up all of the font or text and makes it look like crystal clear. So I love this. A lot of people use like fingernail polish remover. I just don't love getting that out if I don't have to. So I just go ahead and scrape that off. I can wipe away the paint chips and it's ready to go. So I am pairing this with one of Dollar Tree's decals. I love this succulent print and then I'm kind of doing the same thing I did before just spritzing on some of this disappearing glue that is purple and dries clear but you can see the texture showing up. I love how it looks like it has little bubbles on it and kind of like steamed glass. So you can use that same idea on like thrift finds, yard sale finds, anything secondhand. I picked up this like really fun frame on a stand. Uh, once again, just taking my scraper and scraping away all of the, the words on there. And then I used my Cricut, but Dollar Tree has tons of wall decals. So if you don't have a Cricut machine, you can use that. But I love to cut out like things on Cricut because it's like you can get it such custom size to fit this and then to give this an extra like kind of like pop of color and not make it see-through I Mod Podge some fabric on the back so this is really cool even if your fabric is like really wrinkled I don't take the time to iron it or anything I just push it into the Mod Podge and then taking my paintbrush and I'm just using the excess that was already on my paintbrush and smoothing it out. And then you can trim away any extra with an X-Acto knife. This is actually a Cricut knife. And then it gives it that extra detail. But you could add any type of pop of color. I wanted to keep it neutral. But once again, loving the texture that it puts in there. And then I felt like this was like a weird cream color. So I am dry brushing some gray over the top. Thank you all so much for coming along and crafting with me today. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what type of video you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.